soldering iron maintenance kits. Developed to help you maintain thermal efficiency and extend the life of your American Beauty soldering irons. Everyone knows to maintain their soldering tips, but the iron in general sometimes gets overlooked. And the end result is, after a couple years, people dispose of what should be a perfectly good uh, soldering iron that will last a lifetime. So what we're going to do is hopefully this video will show how to maintain your soldering iron and get the most out of it for the long term. The full kit shown here will accommodate irons with tips ranging from 1 quarter to 1 and 1 8 inch diameter. Individual kits are also available for each of the industrial iron sizes that we manufacture. Each kit contains operating instructions, a couple of abrasive cleaning pads, a stainless steel wire brush and a stainless steel bore brush to clean the inner walls of the iron's heating element. Today we want to discuss basic soldering iron maintenance demonstrations for you to help you properly maintain your irons and hopefully extend the life of the not only the elements in the irons but also the soldering iron tips. One of the first things that we'd like to discuss, we get calls often where somebody thinks that their soldering iron element is going bad and the way that our iron elements are made is a compression coil wind nichrome that actually is either working or not working. So generally what you have is a problem with the heat transferring from the soldering iron element into the tip of the iron, okay? And so what you have to do is periodically maintain these irons. We've got irons in different modes of cleanliness. This particular iron hasn't been kept well kept at all. You can see there's quite a bit of buildup on there. Now that's going to be a little bit harder to clean off. If you start right off keeping your irons properly maintained, you're going to find that it's going to be a lot easier to keep them maintained, periodically going in and re-cleaning them. It's a very simple method. We'll introduce the bore brush inside the heating element in this orifice. And you can see the rust in there probably if my lighting's good. Okay, now if you want to pan this way, you'll see we've got some actual oxidation, contamination. Uh, this is caused by flux vapors and a variety of other things that get in there and uh, inhibit the thermal transfer into the tip. Uh, a nice quick little orientation of this bit in here. It's going to remove quite a bit of whatever is in there and it's, of course this one has a more minimal buildup than the other one had. And the next thing is the tip shank. And as I said, if you properly maintain these often and don't have this kind of buildup, it's not too big a deal to go in here and lightly remove this oxidation and buildup that might be on the shank of the tip. Okay? Once it gets to this level, it's going to be very hard to really get that off adequately. And in that kind of a situation, what you're probably going to have to do is take your wire brush and get some of this thick buildup that's up in here out of the way as much as you can. Okay, then you'll go ahead and take one of the abrasive pads that we've got in this kit and start working the tip shank in that pad to remove as much of that oxidation again as you can. Now in some instances, if you've let it go like this one for a long period, you may have to get some emery claw and go in there and clean it with that. This is, uh, again, it, within limitations, this will do, you, uh, do an adequate job of removing some of that material off of there. The next step, when you still don't get enough of it off, and what you're probably going to have to do is take a wire wheel, standard bench grinder, and clean it off that way. And you can see how much buildup was actually on that tip. And as I said, it's very important to remove that buildup in order to maintain good thermal transfer. Now, as I said, we have different sizes of brushes in this kit. So this will show you, if you're doing multiple size irons, just how quickly it is to change this out. And you can do just exactly what we've done here. Lay several irons out. You can just go ahead and clean them from one size to the next. This one is not in bad shape, so we can just take the pad to it keeping them maintained on an ongoing basis, it's going to be a lot easier to go ahead and get them back out into your workforce. So whether you have a standard maintenance person that's doing all the irons or whether you're doing it yourself, you do it in an ongoing manner. Okay. We're going to go ahead and step this down one more size. Again, this is uh, just showing you 
how quickly we can go from one side to the other. And we have uh, five large size irons in our basic uh, array. We go from a 1 and 1 8 inch diameter 3198 iron down to the 3178 iron, 7 eighths of an inch, the 3158. The next size down is our 3138 iron, and that's this size here. And then we have our small irons, our 3125 and 14 are both quarter inch tips. Once again, we'll clean the shank of the tip. You can see it's really not too hard or too complicated to do this, to take care of these things. So remember that with continued periodic maintenance and proper cleaning of your American Beauty soldering irons and tips, you can greatly extend the service life of these tools.